I don't care how good you are, I don't care how talented you are, I don't care how much you work on yourself, there are some times when things aren't going to go right. There are times when anything that can happen will happen. He doesn't look comfortable. Not in a comfortable, yes. No, he doesn't. The unexpected. The uncalled for. The unintentional. We've been damaged emotionally. Damaged spiritually. It may be your business. It may be your heart that is broken today. It may be the number in your bank account that is screaming, you are broke. You can break physically, you can break mentally, you can break your heart, you can break your spirit, and all of those are going to leave a mark. But the mark that they leave can be the mark of victory or can be the mark of defeat. It is staying with the breaking that produces the blessing. It is not what you go through that determines where you end up. It's who you listen to. Because I think right now, you are walking through a valley between two voices. One is wisdom, one is worry. One is gratitude, one is grumbling. One is blame, one is faith. Because every time you break, and in every way that you break, while it's a chance for you to give up and for you to fall apart, but there's also opportunity to get stronger and get smarter and get faster and get tougher and get more stable and get more resilient and get better. What I need you to do is I need you to find a reason to keep going. And if you can find a reason to keep going, I know you're strong enough to do it because you're human. And every human has what it takes to get past whatever they're going through if they decide to. Push through it, push through it. Tragedy and trials come to everybody. Only the strong survive. The fight isn't over. The fight is just beginning. You have the opportunity to show the world what you are really made of. I need you to look at that sickness that's going on in your life right now, whatever it is. I want you to say, I can beat it. I can beat it. I will beat it. I must. I got a family to live for. I ain't through yet. My life ain't over yet. There's some things in life you don't need no degree for. You don't need no money for it. You don't need no support for it. There's something in life you just gonna get through when you tell yourself, I'm gonna get through this. Regardless of what happens to you in life, regardless of the adversity, regardless of the opposition, regardless of the trial and tribulation, nothing can stop you. The only thing that can stop you is you. No situation, no circumstance, no piece of adversity can define your life. Never let a circumstance define you. And I'm not retreating. I'm not running. I don't care what they say on paper. I don't care if you say we outnumbered. We live by this and we die by this. We don't retreat. We don't run. We gonna stand, we gonna live, we gonna die by what we stand for and everybody gonna know what we represent and what we're a part of. I got staying power. I got staying power. Be encouraged today that no matter what you walk through, no matter how broken your marriage is, no matter how many times you fail, there is within you a spirit that is greater than whatever is going on around you. If you would be willing to fight your way through this battle, fight your way through cancer, fight your way through that academic struggle, fight your way through divorce, fight your way through it. If you are willing to fight your way through that singing career, fight your way through boxing, fight your way through football, I'm telling you at the end of the fight is going to come victory. Would you believe it? He's missed the world record by just two seconds. Kennedy and as you crawl up and Berlin, out of that dismal and wretched place as you rise above what you were and as you take the form of who you are supposed to be you will see that in the very act of standing up in the very act of fighting on you will become and you will remain unbroken I will come back.